Right, first and foremost, we're going to assess the scene. So there is a knife underneath the table, so we have to make sure we are safe. You need to be aware of that. Yeah, no. We are going to go in a spiral search pattern as it is more resourceful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, have a look. Sorry. Yeah. We are now going to pick up the phone as evidence. We are going to put this in a tamper proof evidence bag. And I'm going to write this it's evidence because of fingerprints, which is a biological, biological piece of evidence. We are now sealing the bag. Okay, we've noticed the finger is on the floor, so we are going to put this into another tamper proof evidence bag. This is a physical piece of evidence. I'm also going to seal this bag. So that we don't move anything and um, contaminate anything. So okay. that, is there anything behind the sofa? No. No. Okay. Do you want to be aware that there is blood stains in the? Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure you're aware of. There is a broken mobile phone. We've got two. We'll call it mass physical so we more physical. So we are. Is a blood stained coin. There is blood on the table, so I am going to swap. Substance which we probably use for drugs. This is a counter piece of evidence. Now we will pick up the weapon. Without using the victim. And we will be 
careful for safety. You should be using a knife tube that we do not have on. Right, so let's double check. Oh, bleach. Yeah, sample. Uh, swab. Okay, it's fine. Oh, I think it should be a swab. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do a swab of the bleach. Oh! I'm so sorry, Mum. <laughs> I'll just show you now. I'm actually setting up to the victim, but I will not move the victim. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, just put in the back. Yeah. I think I might just go with the first one. I think I get it. Okay. Oh, shit. I can't believe this is a victim. Right, okay. 